Hey, welcome back prospectors to another episode of Prospector 1848. In today's episode, we're going to be traveling around the world and looking at different currency. Let's go traveling! Welcome back prospectors to another episode of Prospector 1848. I truly appreciate you tuning in to another fun video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about paper currency. Uh, now this paper currency is just fun collecting currency. It's no numismatic value. It's not to try to get rich or make lots of money or flip the uh, currency. Uh, so this is just a currency from around the world. Uh, different countries that I order from eBay. Um, so we're going to open this up and see what's in it. I don't know why the rubber band's on it, but okay. All right, so let's go and see what we have here. These are just current currencies of the world today. Oh, it comes in like a little envelope. I guess this is like a good luck envelope. It's very nice and pretty. We'll put that there. All right, so here we see an envelope. I guess it came from China, a Chinese company. Uh, so we're going to look at the currency they gave us. These are today's currencies from different countries. Uh, I bought this for my daughter, just so she can, like, when she grows up, she can learn about different countries and their currency. All right, let's see what we got here first. All right, the first currency we got is from Iran. Well, they give a little information. They give you the flag of Iran, the capital of Tehran, Tehran, currency Iranian real, real. Gives you how large the country is, and it's in Asia. Uh, I think this is just, is it just one in here? Yeah, that's just one. Okay, so here's a, I don't know what number this is. Let's see, it's probably in the back maybe. 5,000. 5,000 reals. So these are, these currencies right here are current currencies from today. But they're interesting. They're good for uh, children to learn about other different countries. Uh, besides just where, uh, if whatever country they're from, either the United States or Canada or wherever, uh, they get to know the country's flag, the uh, type of currency they use, how large their country is, where their country is located, what continent. They get to see some art here, different colors. Here we have um, a person on it. I do not know who that is. I uh, see the different colors on it. Get a little bit of um, art. Iranian art. It's like a bowl and a maybe a plate. All right, so Central Bank of Islamic Republic of Iran, 5,000 rules. All right, that's a cool one. Let's go ahead and just put that like right here. Let's see, what do we got here next? Next one we got is Honduras, capital Tegucigapa. I'm not even going to try to really learn to pronounce that. The currency is Limpira, Limpira. Their area right there, how large their country is, and they're in North America. Honduras, I guess, well, I think Honduras is in Central America, isn't it? All right, so here we see this is one. Uh, this one also just has one currency. All right, let's see what's on the back. Okay, you get to see a little temple. I think it's Ruins de Copan. All right, so that's kind of cool. Let's see some good art from native art of Honduras. Their temple, what it looked like back in the day. Okay, that's a nice one right there. I like that one. Ooh, what is this one? Okay, this one is Ubec. Uh, I'm assuming that's Ubekistan. Uh, there's the capital, Tashkent. Uh, their currency is called Ubekistansium. Uh, the area, uh, they're part of Asia, of course. Oh, well, that's really pretty. Look at this. Nice, pretty colors. It's 500. All right. You can see the watermark here. That's what it looks like on the side. Wow, that's nice. Down on a horse. I don't know much about um, foreign currencies. 
I just thought this would be a cool thing for my daughter to learn about different countries, learn about different currency, maybe even get a little bit of art in it. So that's really nice. I like that one. That one's nice. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, we're going to Africa, I think. Africa, okay. So the other ones were from, um, let's see, this one is Liligo. I can't pronounce that. Mawan Kachis. Okay, that's the name. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing any of these because I do not know how to say any of it. Uh, the country of Mawai. I don't know that country. Right, so we see a person. I'm pretty sure he's a probably like a president or somebody famous. This is 20 Quachas. Uh, local fish. And stuff. See on the back. Okay. It's like education. Teachers Training College. Right there. It tells right there. Teachers Training College. Okay. That's a nice color though. It's very pretty. I've never seen an African note before. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this one's kind of small. Mm, this one is... Ooh, where is this country at? This country's in Europe? Uh, I do not know the name of this country. Trans... Transnisteria? Transnisteria? I'm going to take this one out so you can actually see a little bit of what it looks like. Okay, it looks like some... Some guy, is there his name right there? I think that's his name. Something AD 1730. Let's see if I can put 1730, 1800. Guess that's his name. Probably like a general. Okay, we got a little nature here. Oh, no, no, it was a, a monolith. Some kind of monolith. Right there. Some kind of tablet. Maybe a constitution of some kind or declaration or something. Well, this one's interesting. I don't even know this country. I'm going to have to look this country up. I never heard this one. All right. So once again, that's this country here. If anybody knows where, know that country or what country it's located next to, it's like a former Soviet Union. All right. Let's see, these a little bit. Put them like that. All right. Next one. What do we got? We have Peru. Capital Lima. Currency is Nuevo Sol. Uh, territory of South America. Well, that's a pretty one. It's 500. It's really nice. It's great art. It's, you know, currency is not only money, it's also art. It's very pretty. So what do we got here? 500. Oh, it looks like a... Oh, mountain climbing. Okay. This guy looks very happy. Yeah, go to climb that mountain. Yeah. All right. We got a little bit of art here, like a vase. Um, I don't know what that is. More art right there. Okay, that's a nice one. Ooh, this one's strange. It's a square one, kind of square. This is Kyrgyzstan Republic. Kyrgyzstan Republic. It's in Asia. I've never heard of that country either. Got a little eagle on it. Let's see what else we got. It's one. Okay. Oh, they got some Chinese version here. Chinese version? No. Okay. Didn't see that before. Let's see. Let's get through. Let's see what is this one. This is Belarus. Minsk. White ruble. White ruble. Maybe because all their money's maybe white. Kind of like America's greenbacks. Territory of Europe. This is 20. This is, looks like a building. Probably a government building or museum. So we got back here. Probably inside of the building. Okay. That one's nice. Not my favorite. All right, let's see what do we got next. Uh, Doka? Doka? Doka, Asia. Okay, this is Bangladesh. Bangladesh. I'm going to take this out, see what this guy looks like. Come on out. Oh, I don't got to take it out. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
Bangladesh, purple, little simple aspect. Oh, got a building in the back. It's like a nice building. Maybe it's a mosque. Okay, that was nice. I like that. Let's see, our next one we have is Burundi. Burundi. Capital is Bujambura. So it's like they're a Frank. So most likely was controlled by the French in the past. Okay, so that's nice. That's a pretty one. What do we got in the back? Wow, that's pretty. Agri uh, architecture, like building homes for people. All right, that's nice. I like that. Okay, let's see what we got next. Oh, okay, India. Okay, this is one rupee. One rupee, okay. From Asia, capital's New Delhi. A little symbol here, let's see what that is. Oh, it looks like, I don't know, three leopards, three cats in the back. <laughs> An oil rig. Okay. An oil rig. Don't see that often on back of money. And there's some scripture of some kind or writing. Okay, that's nice. Let's see what we got next. We have our Tajikistan. I guess it's probably near the stands, like Uzbekistan and stuff. This is Dushanbe, is the capital. Samoni is the currency. Asia. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, this one's really small. Let me get to it. Oh, okay. Let's see, give it a little bit more better look. So right here. All right. Okay, that was nice. Wow, there's many of these. See, look how many. I only paid fifteen dollars for all this. This is Nepal, Kathmandu. Everybody knows Kathmandu. Um, Nepal, Nepalisan rupee. Asia. This looks like a temple. Probably the Himalayas over here. A uh, yak or an ox. That's cool. Let's see what the next one we got. We got Cambodia. Fo Fem, capital real again, another real Asia. Wow, that's pretty. I like that one. Nice Buddhist statue. Nice temple. Let's go on the back. Okay, another one. Uh, I don't know who that is. It's very nice. Okay, what do we got here? Bhutan. All right, so this is going to this is probably the same. This picture and this picture is probably the same. It's very nice. So what was the capital? Ooh, right, I can't pronounce that. Or the currency. It's in Asia. Okay, it's probably like a... It's a nice little house. I guess that's the name of the house. Taksan. Taksan. Okay, what do we got here? We have... Laos. Hmm, well, you don't really see much about Laos. Uh, there's the capital there. The currency is called New Kip. It's Asia. It's very nice. It looks like an aqueduct system. Bringing water to the people on the farms. It's kind of a little, oh, there's a Russian sickle. Or, uh, I guess it's like the Labor Party symbol. Here we see people, agriculture. Sounds really nice. I don't know what they grow, but if you know, leave it in a comment. Oh, another Africa. We're back in Africa. Zambi, Zambi. There's the capital there, the name of the currency. Africa. Oh, this looks like, let's see what. It's a bird. Like a falcon, I think. I think it's Zimbabwe, Zambi, Zambi. Looks like a dam, probably like a dam that brought water to people. Let's see what we got next. Uh, Republic of Indonesia, Jakarta, Indonesian rupee, Asia. So this is a thousand. This is what this is right here. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty lake. I've never been to Jakarta. I have been to Bali. 
Indonesia is a very pretty country. Let's see, we have the Congo. Well, there's the capital's name, the currency. Ooh, the currency's name is long. Central Africa, CFA, Frank. Africa, we have a, a image of a person from Congo or maybe a mask that is carved out over there. 50, okay, it's like a fishing village, okay. Let's kill. Okay. Let's see what we got here. We have next Nigeria. Well, that's a nice little hologram right there. Was that a gorilla? It looks like a gorilla face. I might be wrong. There's the capital, the currency's name in Africa. Okay. A tribal picture. That's cool. Some drums. Hmm. Why is it made of paper? Let me see. Oh, it's not made of paper. It's like uh, that plastic. That plastic. Um, yeah, it's like the. Um, it's not paper or cotton. It's like plastic. Okay. Okay, that's the first one I got of that. I love that shit. That looks kind of shiny. All right. Next one, we have Vietnam. Hanoi. Currency's name is the Dong. Asian one. Looks like we got more than one in this one. So we got a 2000 one. And some of that's the president or the one that founded the Vietnam. During the Vietnam War, maybe. Uh, we have this one. This is a thousand. The other one was 2000. Um, got some elephants. Okay. This is 500. Some ships. Okay, wow, we got three for that one. Got a 500. Got a 500, a 1,000, and a 2,000. Let's flip this one to the other side, because the other sides are, some of that's the obverse, and these are the reverse. All right. That's nice. Oh, yeah, we got three for this. Three Vimy's dolls. All right, what do we got here? Mongolia. Wow, looks like we got a lot of Mongolia. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, but this is a... Uh, I don't know what denomination this is. Oh, 50. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay, that's kind of nice. Some horses, Mongolian horses. Oops, almost dropped one. Small one. Some nice, oh, that's like horses. I think they have a race there. That's a traditional race. That's only 50. Um, that's 20. Kind of same, different colors. We'll have the horses again. It's 10. This is 20. Horses again. A 100 for the horses. Okay, so seems like a lot of horses. One, we got a 100, a 20, a 10. Uh, we have ourselves a 50, and we have these little small ones right here, which are like small. Let's see, yeah, like 50. Some wrestling thing. It's kind of cool. Wow, that's nice. I've never been to Mongolia. It looks like they have some interesting currency. Let's get this back in there. In you go. Okay, we didn't look at here real fast. Mongolia, the capital there, the currency's name, Asia. Oh, it looks like these last ones are loaded with currency. So this is Burma. There's the capital, currency's name, territory, Asia. Well, let's go through these really fast. This is a five one. Wow, that's pretty. On the back, some looks like playing hacky sack. Um, we have a ten. Same kind of design. Same design as the other one, more or less, with the like 
dog, I'm assuming. Looks like a dog, or maybe it's a dragon. I don't know. So five is ten. This one has the hacky sack people. This one has it's like a temple or a boat. Ten cots, maybe that's the place. Uh, here we have a 50, same type of dog. Oh, see, that's nice. Got some pottery. A 20. Oh, I like that color. Oh, that's a pretty color. And this one is elephants. Elephant fountain. That's cool. Oh, it says Burma thing, but I guess, yeah, they're called Miramar now. Yeah, Central Bank of Miramar. They used to be called Burma. Now they're called Miramar. Oh, this is a country I've never been to. Alright, so that is a lot. Wow. it's a lot of currency right there. Okay, so that's that one. That's from the country of Burma, also known as Miramar. Yeah, okay, let's put that back in. Let's see what else we got here. We got ourselves some China. From China. Capital Beijing, area 9.6 million. Population. Well, that's weird. Why they got the population on this one? 1.4 billion. Asia. We got two of these. Alright, that's okay, that's interesting. That's nice. Well, I thought Chinese currency looked different. Maybe these are older Chinese currency. If you know if these are the current ones, or maybe they're regional currency. Because when I went to China, the currency did not look like this. It's very pretty, though. Lots of colors. Unlike America's money, which is mostly just the green back. Okay, China, back in the case you go. All right. That's nice. Let's see, let's see this one right here. This one looks smaller. This is Venezuela. Oh, it looks like it's got a little dolphin. Got a few of these ones. Venezuela. Okay, I guess that's a. Well, that's hold it differently. Like this. Okay, that's who. Focus. So that's us. We got a five note with the frog, tree frog probably. Different person on this one. These are probably famous people from Venezuela or presidents, maybe. Uh, we have this one with the anteater. Ooh, go anteater. Oh, look at that lightning. Oh, uh, that lightning probably represents that one place in uh, Venezuela that gets tons of lightning hits per year. Yeah, oh, that's true. I like these Venezuelas. I don't know how much these are worth now because right now Venezuela is going through super inflation and stuff. But they're still pretty. Still nice. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put these back. So, like I say, I got all of these from eBay for only about $15, which is pretty good. Caracas. Currency is Bolvar. South America? Okay. And our last one. Let's see, where's this at? Oh, it's upside down. Peyang. North Yun. North Korea. Wow, there's a lot of North Korea ones. If you never get to go to North Korea, this is what their currency looks like. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, that's the uh, whole aspect of a uh, Soviet Union, uh, labor union, work curse for the people. Mm, this one. Oh, looks like somebody's trying to fall out. We got a little small one. It kind of slid out of my hand. Well, that was a simple one, huh? Maybe that's a bus token. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we'll just kind of put that small one over there. It's a bigger one. Let's see what this is. That's kind of, that's a 200. This one was a 50. This one's a 10. Let me see what I got here. That's nice. 
Another one. Looks like this is one about science. Education, that's a five. Five yun, I guess. North Korean yun. There's a little palace. This one is a Arch of Triumph. That's, pretty, that's 500. Not much in the back of that one. See, this is a 2000 one. Well, that looks simple. It's like a little simple cabin. Uh, it looked like a mountain with something written on it. Well, that's pretty. It's got pretty colors for these. America just usually has just one color for our money. I guess maybe a traditional village. So we got 70 years maybe? 70 years or something. So this is a 5,000 one. There's another thousand one. I don't know what these are. Seems weird. Seventy something. Two hundred one. That's cute. Some flowers. Five hundred. Okay, I think that's the main one. Oh, there's a guy that uh, founded North Korea. Kim Jong Sook, I think. I'm not for sure. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, please. Nice little bridge. And another one. Also with, I think, Kim Jong Sook. That's very pretty. Alright. So that is the North Korean one. Very nice currency. Larger bills towards the back, I guess. Put this back in. Comes like a little sleeve. Tells you what country they're from. Well, let me see if I can get this in. And that's our North Korea. All right, so we got lots of currency. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, uh, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Twenty-six different countries. And they're all pretty pretty. They're all crisp. They look uncirculated and nicely done. So that's our video today. Um, hopefully you had fun and learned maybe more about these different countries and their currency. At least uh, hopefully their name, their capital, their currency name, their area, and their territory. And so if you didn't know about these countries before, now you do. Uh, so for about $15, I got all this. Uh, so if you have any kids or anybody that's interested in foreign currency, this is a great deal to get. They'll love it. They're amazing countries. Okay? Now, when I did buy it, they did say random countries will be in the envelope. So if you buy something similar to this from the place I bought it from, you may get different countries. And so, All right. So once again, thank you for joining me here at Prospector 1848. Keep stacking that silver, keep stacking that gold, and keep looking for those treasures. I'm out of here. Bye. Wow, prospectors. Now that was an interesting video. I learned a lot today about different countries and their currency and some architecture too. So thank you for joining me here at Prospector 1848. And until next time, like he said before in that video, keep looking for those treasures.